Hey there. All right, so coming up later today, as I promised, we are gonna do a uh, contour. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to do a quick video on how to look in the mirror. I know that sounds silly, um, but it's something that um, might just blow your mind. You might think it's kind of hokey and silly um, until you try it, and then you'll realize the power um, that you have to destroy yourself or to build yourself up. So um, my voice is a little um, dry and hoarse because I got home at about 3 a.m. last night after a super fun makeup class at uh, Laura's in Round Rock last night. And since I live about two and a half hours away from there, um, it was quite a bit of a drive home after getting everything entered and cleaned up. So. I, in case y'all are wondering who Laura is, she is my LuLaRoe crack dealer, um, and I love her very much, um, and I did come home with a few new pieces. Um, hi, Carolyn. Okay, so this is great for you, Carolyn. This, you're going to love this. So here's how to look in the mirror. An arm's length distance and look into your own eyes. I know that probably sounds kind of silly, but if you are looking at things on your face, parts of your face, your nose, spots, discolorations, like I'm doing right now, where I'm pulling up the mirror close and I'm looking, y'all, that's depressing. If I back it up, suddenly I look into my own eyes, just like you look at another person. The next time you have a conversation with a human being that's maybe not a family member, because sometimes we don't always look at them in the eyes. But next time you're talking to somebody, ask yourself what you're looking at. You're not looking at their eyelids. You're not looking at the bags under their eyes. You're not looking at their eyebrows. You're not looking at their nose. You're not looking at their wrinkles around their eyes. You're looking at their eyeballs, the, the anatomy inside of all of the places where you put makeup to direct attention to the eyeballs. Does that make sense? So you're not even looking at their makeup necessarily, unless it's distracting. Um, you're looking at their iris and that is the restful place. That's the window to the soul, right? So um, there is a law of physics that says um, that whatever is in focus expands. If your fine lines under your eyes are in focus, they will expand. <laughs> it's true. Um, our perception is reality, that whole thing. You can call it that if you want to, but that is a law of physics, not just a makeup artist trick. Um, so when you're looking at fine lines, um, Vicki, we were just talking about this. Um, Makeup is always going to enhance fine lines close up. Um, it's, it's a magic trick, y'all. It's, it's not real magic, it's a trick. So makeup is always going to enhance fine lines when you look at it close up. But nobody sees it like this, except you. So you need to see what everybody else sees, which is um, glowing eyes and a happy smile um, and not be so focused on the little bitty tricks. So if a magician is doing a trick and he can't get over the fact that everybody's gonna notice the sleight of hand, then he's not a very good magician. <laughs> so the whole point of makeup is to kind of draw attention to the eyeballs and away from the other things. But under focus, those things are always going to expand. So, um, there are skincare tips and tricks that you can use. If you're approaching 40, so a lot of you are my high school friends, and if you're over 40, hi Debbie, I'm not suggesting you're over 40, but you know, um, you are Aaron's mom. So then it's time to start reversing some of the damage that you've done and certainly to stop doing damage that you've done. So you need a, um, to protect yourself from the sun. I'm not a huge fan of SPF specifically, um, but there are things that will protect you from the sun that have a UV protectant in them that are different from SPF. 
Um, our One Drop Wonder um, by Limelight by Alcone is an expensive little oil, but it will last a very long time and it's super, super anti-everything. Anti-aging, it rebuilds collagen, it comes from those green balls that you see laying on the side of the road. Um, <laughs> way over 40, I know, but you look amazing, Debbie. Um, and you could look 40 if you use that One Drop Wonder, just saying. Um, okay, so it's time to start doing something about the skin underneath the makeup if you're not happy with the makeup. So the makeup is the quick fix. Um, that's the thing that's going to do the magic right away and fool the eye, and it's really fun. But you have to put your big girl panties on and grow up and start taking care of your face and do some work to prepare the surface that you're putting the makeup on. So you can actually reverse quite a bit of fine lines and damage by doing really good exfoliating, um, really good eye cream, really good um, anti-aging products, um, rebuild some collagen, and that's really all. I'm going to um, go back to working on my um, contour video. I gotta do my um, foundation and my concealer and then I will be back at y'all with a contour video. So, hope that helps. I will look forward to seeing y'all here in a few minutes. Uh, go glorify God and edify someone else.